and welcome to Topper Engineering classes. In uh, today's lecture, we will see the coding questions that were asked in the uh, exam of Accenture that was held on 8th of October 2020. So let's start with the video. Uh, basically, there are two questions that has to be solved for uh, SE role in Accenture uh, within 45 minutes. So you are uh, given just uh, 45 minutes uh, to solve both the questions. Okay. So the first question is input name as a string and you need to return a string with how many times each letter shows up in the string by using and dollar. So basically this uh, question is uh, if there is a string called Accenture and uh, first of all uh, if you see the uh, output it is all in the lowercase format so we need to convert this the uppercase to lowercase first of all and then as you can see we, ca we are uh, nothing but calculating the number of times the each letter is uh, appearing in the string. Okay, so for checking that, uh, I'll uh, define a function for getting the strings. I get string and uh, the name that is uh, that will be our input. Next, uh, we need to convert that name into lowercase sorry name into I mean name dot lower so uh, will uh, the name if the name is given in uppercase it will be converted into lowercase uh, and also I'm writing the code in Python so those uh, who are uh, new to Python uh, I am sorry for them uh, because I love Python and I love to code in Python itself. Yeah, after that I uh, will take a loop for I in name and uh, yeah also uh, will define a empty string that will be our result result equals to empty our empty string okay next uh, we'll check if that i in result like if the i is already in our string that is uh, this result we'll just pass L if if i is equals to equal 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 to uh, blank space or whatever will again pass now pass is used uh, uh, so that uh, the it will uh, not throw any error because we are not doing anything in that we are just passing it uh, like again to the loop else uh, for checking we uh, result equals to sorry result plus equals to i we are incrementing i uh, because if uh, I'll, I'll explain it okay uh, result plus or equal to i then colon because I am writing this because, uh, because here as you can see we need a colon like the first letter that is our I in the, uh, in the name Accenture and colon is to be printed and then we need to uh, print the count with a dollar. Okay, I hope that is clear. So uh, yeah, a dollar plus then uh, we need to uh, print the dollar sign and the dollar sign will be printed 
for the number of count of that i in city and plus we need to put a comma as well that's it or yeah that's it and we'll return result colon minus 1 now i uh, write, uh, wrote it colon minus 1 because uh, after checking after checking all the letters in the name it will uh, once again run and it will just print a, a comma there so we didn't uh, we don't want that right so therefore i did this step next uh the like this much you have to write this much in the exam but uh, because uh, there it is uh, they are giving the pre uh, like input by themselves we uh, we don't need to uh, give the user uh, user input so but uh, here we need to give it that's why i'm writing few more steps like uh, we are taking a string as an input and we are printing the function that's it this is our code that was quite easy but uh, it is easy for those who are uh, good in uh, programming but don't worry uh, 45 minutes are given to you and if you practice uh nothing is impossible <laughs> okay so let's give the input that is uh, i'll write accenture itself and see the result is what we want a is a uh, came for one time that is one dollar then for c the count is two that is two dollars e it is uh, two dollars n n uh, came for one time that uh, that is one dollar and so on so this was all about the first question i hope that is clear but if it isn't so please don't hesitate uh, for asking any doubt you can ask me in the comment section or you can uh, join me on uh, my telegram channel uh, i'll put the link in description Let's move to the next question. The second question that came in Accenture uh, for coding round is create a function div by let, that is uh, divide by and take an input number to check if the number is divisible by each out of two arguments. For example, if 14 uh, if minus 14 is uh, the number like the input number and we are giving two arguments of uh, say a and b now we have to check if uh, whether the given number is divided by a and b both so 2 uh, 14 is divided by 2 and 7 is also uh, i mean yeah and 7 also divides 14 like that to, uh, 14 is divisible by 2 but 14 isn't divisible by 6 likewise 45 is divisible by 1 but 45 isn't divisible by 6 6 45 is divisible by 5 but 45 isn't uh, and also huh 45 is divisible by 15 as well so true we need to uh, return true or false in uh, in different cases so this was all about the question let's uh, write a code for that i'll uh, take a function div by and we'll pass uh, three arguments that is first our input that is num uh, okay sorry number and uh, two arguments a and b okay now here we need to return if the number is div uh, divisible by both a and b so uh, we'll write number is uh, 
double symbol by a equals to equals to zero and if number is divided by b that is equals to equals to zero that's it this was all about the uh, code like that's why i love python and i um, i suggest you to learn python if you don't know it so it was quite easy for uh, those students who know python but if you are writing the code in any other language then it would be uh, time con consuming as well okay so here i uh, took a uh, number as an input okay i <laughs> forgot to give an equals to okay i took a input and next uh, the same i have to do for the remaining arguments that is a and a oh fuck and b paste yeah next we need to print divide by that function and our arguments that's it a comma b c now this is the uh, this i am writing this part of code because uh, here we need to give input by ourselves but in the exam you don't need to give in by uh, like user input so you just have to write this much code that's it so let's check if i wrote the code correctly or not run ho jaya i don't know why is it not running i guess it's and okay okay yeah if i give the number as 12 a b 2 and let b equals to 3 so our uh, we are returning true and if in case if 12 is a number and 5 is the first argument and 2 is the second argument that then it is it is returning false so that's it this was all about the code it is easy it uh, the questions that will be asked will be quite easy uh, as you can see the first question uh, this was of medium level and this is of easy level so in within 45 minutes they uh, they will not ask you very much hard questions uh, so that's it all the best for your exams and uh, do subscribe my channel if you like my video also i'll uh, share the co uh, quant questions and verbal questions and many more and also there were pseudo codes asked in the uh, in the question paper and uh, yeah computer fundamentals too so i'll make a video on that too so for that you uh, you subscribe my channel so that you never missed my videos Thank you so much thanks for watching and let's meet in the next video bye bye